What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on New York Giants franchise here in Madden 19 and I'm recording this kind of late. Fun fact, I just had what only can be described as emergency diarrhea and I understand most of you probably didn't want to hear that but most of me did not want to have it. So it's a little bit of an unfortunate situation we both find ourselves in as we stumble in to I guess week one of the New York Giants franchise I know what you're saying the Giants do not play the Browns in week one they play the Jaguars what we're gonna do here in this first episode before we play the game is simulate so I'm gonna have Jonathan Stewart as a starting running back for right now I want Saquon Barkley to get more preseason touches and what I'm gonna do for the sake of the entire series since we're not gonna be playing the preseason games and the skill level will be all Madden we're gonna tweak the sliders as slider sets come out and we're gonna you know see how it plays and we want it to be better but i'm turning off injury for the preseason and we're probably gonna play seven minute quarters um so i don't want anybody to get injured in preseason simulations since we're gonna be playing all the games anyway it really doesn't make any sense so i'm gonna see you guys just before week one and we're gonna check out the full preseason stats before the season starts all right, so we are back, and we're not off to a great preseason start. One and two. The Patriots, I will say, are 0-3, and, and I do not want to simulate right here. I'm just going to show the stats up through these three games so we can see how uh, the players played. And also, before we go any further, I got this comment on one of my last videos. The NCAA Road to Glory, if you guys watch that. It says, need ring light, make less ugle, which I think is probably a good thing for me. So I am going to blind myself with the ring light uh, and maybe increase that quality on the webcam a little bit and uh probably blind myself and that's not going to be great overall but now i'll have an excuse when i make a, a really terrible read we do have to cut 21 players before i'm certainly not going to cut zach diasi that is not going to happen that is our team captain longtime giant long snapper special team extraordinaire but let's go ahead and check out the stats real quick that we saw in the preseason. I want to see how everybody performed. And it's a small sample size. So we're just basically looking over the three games. At quarterback, touchdown, interception ratio, completion percentage, things like that. Davis Webb didn't get a snap, which is confusing to me. Kyle Lalletta got the majority. 373 yards, two touchdowns, 30 completions on 59 attempts. Um, he didn't throw an interception. None of our quarterbacks did. It's kind of remarkable that we didn't... We didn't win any games, really, through the first two. Jonathan Stewart split carries with Saquon Barkley and outperformed Saquon Barkley, like, a lot. None of them fumbled. Saquon did not break a tackle. Simulation stats can be kind of weird, so that's not really extremely telling. Odell still led our team in catches, yards, however, not touchdowns. We only had four receptions uh, that got in the end zone through the entire preseason besides the last game. Sacks allowed, Chad Wheeler was less than admirable, and our starters were less than admirable. Nate Solder and Will Hernandez both allowing one. Over 100 snaps, so it's not terrible. It's like probably 12 sacks allowed on the season, which, I, you know, whatever. Alec Ogletree led our team in tackles with 23. Tackles for loss would be a lot of guys with one. Sacks, we have 5.5 for Olivier Vernon, 2.5 for Damon Harrison interceptions only one for andrew adams the undrafted safety out of yukon a couple years ago i don't see any forced fumbles we get two mark herslick and bj hill the rookie out of nc state and no defensive touchdowns regardless doesn't particularly matter that's not what we care about we care about the jaguars but we also care about cutting 21 players so mark herslick is absolutely not going to be cut even though it does save us cap space, if you will. So we have a lot of players who are both practice squad eligible, as well as players that we can just cut to free cap space or what have you. And um, a lot of these players could be impact players, and we have to cut 21. Are there even are there 21 here? Okay, hold on. Let's let's figure this out. So there are 23 players here that it suggests we cut. All right, so what's gonna happen with that is we're likely gonna make our first cut now. And that could be 
former number one overall pick, Eric Flowers. And when I say number one overall, I mean he was taken, I believe, 10th or 9th by the Giants, but in the first round. So I did not mean number one overall. Powers, 69. Nice. He's also Eric Flowers, though. He's literally a wreck. Or E-Wreck. But you, you see, what I was, see what I was doing. All right, as much as I have come to despise guys like Eli Apple, I'm going to keep Eli Apple on the team, but I am going to be trading Eric Flowers to the Arizona Cardinals. I wanted to keep this trade at least somewhat realistic. He did have green value, so it's possible I maybe could have gotten more. But I'm trading Eric Flowers to the Arizona Cardinals for a third-round pick this year. He's really terrible, but he is that former first-round talent, if you will. So maybe all he needs is a fresh start, and he's going to get that far away from the Big Apple. And that is going to be in Phoenix. I guess Scottsdale, Arizona, I think, is where the University of Phoenix Stadium is. But Arizona. So now we're actually faced with maybe even tougher decision than we had prior. So we have John Jerry, John Greco, and Patrick Omame all competing for, I guess, starting roles. And John Jerry is also uh, a disaster. He's 32 years old. 77 overall out of Ole Miss. Did I say Ole Miss? You go to Ole Miss? Yeah, he did. I, I thought I read that. I don't know. That was just subliminal. But um, this series is going to be somewhat realistic. Mainly, like 90% realistic. But we're going to do trades to kind of spice it up. And John Jerry is a potential player that we would trade away. And it would probably be for a draft pick down the line. Defensively, I don't really know what I'd like to do in terms of trades and acquiring players. I'm going to show you guys exactly how we're going to start everything in a minute. And I hate that Eli Apple is a player on this team. But we don't have a lot of better options. It's going to be William Gay, B.W. Webb. Is that who this is? B.W. Webb. We have Dante Dion. It, it, it's just like, it's a bad secondary overall. And Eli Apple, he's really one of the best options. So I can't really move him for a draft pick. We need to be competing this year. But John Jerry is a guy I could definitely trade and then move John Greco to right tackle because he, he's played tackle in the past. Um, he is 33, but I'd rather have him, I think, than John Jerry and just make it a priority to re-sign in the offseason. So, <laughs> Earl Thomas is one of my favorite players in the NFL, and the only reason I'm attempting to get a player of his caliber with this move is because there are a ton of rumors swirling around Earl Thomas and holding out for a new contract and whatnot, and we're extremely weak at free safety with Darian Thompson there. And Earl Thomas would be an instant upgrade. They have interest in John Jerry. We could offer a first round pick, but as you can see, even a first, even a second, and it, it just really doesn't budge very much. And this is about the value I could really give up to get Earl Thomas. I thought about throwing an Eli Apple there, but he doesn't have any value for the team. Earl Thomas, one of my favorite players in the NFL. I think this actually makes a ton of sense, really, for both sides. Obviously, John Jerry is not great, but you want to get all the value you can for Earl Thomas. He's just a little bit too difficult to trade for, so I think we're going to have to trade John Jerry for something else. All right, John Jerry, a 5 and a 7 this year, is going to get me a second from the Cincinnati Bengals. John Jerry does have a decent amount of value to a team like the Bengals, as he's a decent overall offensive lineman and the Bengals are so weak on their offensive line as you can see he's an immediate upgrade at least overall wise over Trey Hopkins so we're getting a second round pick I think it's pretty good value we are giving up a fifth and a seventh but that's fine I think the second round pick holds that much value that we're going to be more than okay to give away a player of his caliber if I could say that but uh, Patrick Omame is going to slide into right guard, and we're going to move John Greco over to right tackle. He's played there in Cleveland. Um, has he played tackle anywhere else? I don't recall, but we are going to do that. And then where's John Greco? We're going to make him a right tackle. So here's a new look team. Not that different overall, but Patrick Omame is the new starting right guard over John Jerry, and John Greco is the new starting right tackle over Eric Flowers, both 69 overall nice and as far as the rest of the team goes Saquon Barkley will be our starting running back we're fine at quarterback I feel like the offense is is in a decent spot and we're going to name starters here in a minute we're also going to name team captains we're going to mix it up just a little bit because guys like Eli Manning 
they're gonna be our captain it's just he is going to be a captain uh but as far as the others go we're gonna name them shortly let's go ahead and simulate to week one though i didn't cut the players no all right so unfortunately i totally forgot that i needed to do this so certain players are unfortunately no longer on the roster romeo aquara is a notable one uh as is khalif raymond i probably will try to re-sign him but unfortunately the main one that i really wanted to hold on to was zach diasi he's been a giant team captain for forever great special teamer great long snapper probably not in the long-term plans for being honest so it's not really that important and he never would have really saw the field but rip we're gonna bring khalif raymond back and he will return for the first little while i don't really want to be re-signing or signing anybody uh of note so re-signing is not what i meant to say but signing so like jalen strong is here uh as is maybe a richard higgins as are some players that we can potentially sign off practice squads you look at an Auden Tate, Dion Kane. You look at Marcel Aitman. I mean, there are a number of players that I could go out. Equinemius St. Brown. But I'm not going to right now. I just kind of want the series to stay where it is and kind of build off the default roster. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And uh, yeah, I got to cut one player now. It's going to actually, it's going to have to be Ray Ray Armstrong. I don't really see him playing a role on this Giants team linebackers position i do want to upgrade at some point some point soon and he just really doesn't fit so ray ray armstrong is the final giant to be cut we're going to set a season goal and we're going for eight wins that's my goal eight wins i will use some of the skill points that we have accrued over the simulation thus far and that is going to be on saquon barkley and i want him to get better as a power back i really like him in that department and saquon barkley as you can see will receive boosts in ball carry vision break tackle stiff arm and trucking not too bad and he has superstar i didn't i didn't realize that they must have changed in the uh in the final build of the game with some of the developments so not too shabby i think he had star before dalvin tomlinson will be upgraded slightly as well block shedding finesse moves are really the notable additions there but i'm not going to show you guys everything just going to do the final couple and then see you guys for week one against the jacksonville jaguars it's so crazy that landon collins does not have a face face scan wild all right so it's time to name a new team captain and you know what you got to be thinking why odell beckham jr he's somewhat of a head case he's young he's immature is he a team leader a lot of question marks but we're gonna say all right odell time to mature we're gonna stick that c on your chest and you're gonna start leading this team it's a it's a power play i'm also gonna stick the c on landon collins chest get him the team captain he's the future of this team on the defense a lot of guys who are probably uh very willing able and deserving damon harrison being one of them Maybe even Alec Ogletree is a pure team leader. I'm pretty sure he's a team captain, actually. But Landon Collins is going to be my go-to. And week one at MetLife Stadium, the home opener against the 84 overall Jacksonville Jaguars. Series is going to be a fun combination of, like, live commentary, which is what I'm going to be doing, and, like, almost third-person narration. You guys, trust me, will not like it. Trust me. Uh, stick around though Jags Giants These animations are so cool to start off the games now I almost would feel bad skipping them and of course it does show actually when each team was created and What division that's that's very nice, but here we are live at MetLife Stadium. The fireworks are going off I've never seen fireworks at MetLife ever Regardless they look sick both teams take the field Who's ready? I am, for sure. You got Eli, Wayne Gallman, Jonathan Stewart. What a running back crew. Odell's got the captain insignia. Maybe Saquon Barkley will, will get blessed at some point. And here is Saquon Barkley. Doing unspeakable things to that football. Get the camera off him. Thank you. Bengis Khan looking great. Speaking words of wisdom into the 
ear of Eli Manning, who maybe doesn't even understand English. So that's going to be tough. But here we go. Time for kickoff. All Madden, Aldrich Rosas is the specialist. And that one might even be through the uprights. And it is. Why don't you do that uh, on field goals? Why don't you? So I don't. Why is Mark Herzlick starting that middle linebacker? That's a that's a disaster. Where's B.J. Goodson? Is T.J. Yeldon gonna try and cut it back, but is swallowed up by the outside linebacker Olivier Vernon. Third and eleven. B.J. Goodson on the field. This should set the tone for the entire season if we can get a stop here. And that is thrown right at me, and I am not there. Do get the tackle with Landon Collins. All right. All right, I see you. I see you, Robbie. Blake Bortles throwing right at me. And uh, I do nothing about it. It's great. It's going to be a run. OV shuts it down again. Good stuff. It's a draw. Get on it, BJ. Get off the block. Olivier Vernon again. Destroying this Jaguar offensive line in Leonard Fournette. Averaging negative one yards per carry so far. I pretty much hit sticks only, by the way, as we're going to wrap up this one. Landon Collins shuts down Leonard Fournette, who's having a very rough start to this game. Another third down. We're clearly going to get gashed here. He's going to throw B.J. Goodson. It's going to be intercepted. Easy reads. The cat in the hat. Get the user pick with B.J. Goodson. All right. First play, the New York Giants season offensively. Going to be a handoff to the rookie, Saquon Barkley. And uh, it's only two yards on the pickup. Here's your draft class, though. Nope, there it goes. Okay. Going to be a really tough matchup for Odell Beckham Jr. today. Uh, pretty much going to be flanked by either A.J. Boye or Jalen Ramsey. And we're going to throw uh, into traffic. I didn't look at that one at all. The light, the ring light, dude. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Uh, that's that's a classic case of not seeing anything, sensing pressure, and hitting a button. Brutal. Okay, that was so bad. Great offensive drive to start. Good thing I'm okay on defense. Going to the flat. Hit him! Eli Apple lays the boomstick on... What is it? Austin Safarian Jenkins? He a Jaguar now? He is. Okay. That'd be useful information. All right. Huge turnover. Huge turnover here. Third and eight. Let's force one. Come on. Huge turnover on third down. No points. Let's take the football back. He's going to check down. Oh, that ball's in the air. Is that a fumble? Was that stripped? No, they're going to call it incomplete. All right. Jag's probably going to settle for a field goal here. And the field goal is good. 3-0 Jaguars. Josh Lambeau kicks that one through the uprights. And we're going to start the second quarter here uh, after a terrible, terrible first drive. If you can even call it that. Third down and 11. We're going to throw for Red Ellison. No, it's Evan Ingram. My bad. <laughs> Mistake, uh mistaken about where they lined up but Evan Ingram 22 yards on the pickup and uh, we got our first first down of the game gigantic third down pickup there as uh, of course why would I ever throw to Red Ellison it's Evan Ingram but here's Saquon Barkley up the middle his longest run of the game that's gonna be three yards running games have not been too impactful so far for both teams we're gonna check down there Sterling Shepard not even really a check down. Just a good read for the first down. We get Chet picking up the uh, first down there. This looks like it could be covered too. We might be looking for Odell up the seam. We're going to throw. We got one on one. Odell makes the catch inside the five. Oh my God. He just dragged his entire sack over the face of Jalen Ramsey, by the way. I don't know if I can even show that. Third and goal. We're going to audible to an inside zone. We like the look. Hand the ball off, Eli Saquon Barkley up the middle. He's short. How? We're running hurry up. We're running hurry up. They're going to stack the box now on fourth and goal. 
We're gonna change it up here. We're gonna change up the look. We're gonna throw. Odell on the drag. We got Evan Ingram on the out there. Saquon Barkley. All right, I like the look. Odell, short and sweet. Touchdown. Going for it is entirely worth it from the one. Odell Beckham Jr. Gonna hit the whip to the Michael Jackson. And uh, we're gonna take the lead over the Jags here. Seven to three, pending the extra point, and it is good. We got the lead. All right, we're in a good spot. It's gonna be a run, it's a delayed handoff. Get there, wrap it up, Olivier Vernon. Hits the initial contact on Fournette, but BJ Goodson is there to wrap up and finish. And that's a two minute warning. All right, so we'll see what Doug Marone and Robbie Bortles dial up here on third and 12. It's gonna be just a handoff. Dalvin Tomlinson gonna to wrap up. I'll tell you who's been a pretty big non-factor thus far in terms of actual tackles. That's Damon Harrison, as we're actually gonna call a timeout as we are potentially in striking distance with a nice two minute drill opportunity for Eli Manning. We're shrieking Odell. But Saquon Barkley, he beat Miles Jack in man coverage and the ball is just not where it needs to be. That's a first down and more. Let's see what we can do here on third and 10. That's wide open and Eli misses the mark. Evan Ingram is so, so naked for the first down. And uh, wow, what a missed opportunity. Yep, they're, they're going to be in field goal range now. Still have the lead, but it's going to be reduced down to one point now. So, that's, that's a great way to, to begin the second half. Oh my god, dude. John Greco was just brutalized by Calais Campbell. I mean, we just... We just don't really have a ton of time to do anything. Whether it's shooting the gap, running the football. Whether it's throwing the ball. We cannot do anything. Even when we have the open receivers, Eli Manning's like, boop, I have no idea how to throw. So that's fantastic. It's wide open in the flat. Oh, wow, Eli hit him. Unbelievable. Smith breaks a tackle. Who even are you? Who is Smith that I have? I have no idea. Who... I'm a Giants fan. I know the entire Giants roster. Who in the world is Smith? Shane Smith. Sure he is. All right. Chain. Third and five. Here we go. <laughs> all right. There's uh, no time to throw at all. That's going to have to be a slider that's tweaked just a little bit. Because I know this Giants offensive line isn't great and the Jaguars offensive line is great. But, I mean, there's actually no time to throw. There's no time. And that's, that's most plays. And I can't even run the football. I just need to tweak the blocking a little bit. A little bit on all Madden. And that's going to be intercepted. Alec Ogletree. Portals makes his second big mistake of the game. The linebackers are doing their job today. Alec Ogletree with a gigantic drive-ending interception to give us the football back. Let's find it on offense. Please, I beg of you. I mean, there's nothing. I'm averaging one yard per carry with Saquon Barkley, but look at any of these runs. They're just shedding blocks immediately. Oh, man. An absolute hobnocker of a punt. That's not a word that is even a word, so we're going to start using it that's a hobnocker of a punt write that one down we got him on the one baby oh we're there with ogletree it's a safety and the score is now six nine <laughs> nice good stuff there all right now we're gonna start you know start playing for real we're gonna stop messing around we're actually gonna block now right uh that's probably even my bad because the blocks looked like they held up okay on that one the defense has been super solid. The receivers, for the most part, have done nothing. Our corners really haven't been tested, which I do want to see more of that. And then a cornerback's tested. It's Eli Apple. 
He's made a play. Unbelievable. Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing, Janoris? That's one of the best players on our entire defense. A great cornerback in Janoris Jenkins. And Dante Moncrief turns him around on a comeback. I'm not liking man right now. We're going to go back to zone. All right, let's dial up the heat here. We're going to shade inside with Ogletree to defend the slant. It's going to be a run, actually. It's going to be a read option. We got Morrow there to make the stop, I believe, on Blake Bortles, who had it on the quarterback keeper. It's a great play by Josh Morrow. Looking to get some more playing time. I like it. And the Jaguars are going to go up 12 to 9. And yes, you guessed it. That one point. Remember that field goal they had earlier? Now, instead of it being a field goal game, it is a four point game. It all comes back around full circle. Love it. It's going to be the two minute warning. Third and eight now after a failed run. Very tough debut for Saquon Barkley. But uh, it's not his fault. It really is. There's just nothing. We're going to tweak the sliders a little bit after the game to get a better experience going. But here is third and eight. And Saquon Barkley is wide open. We finally got the ball to one of our biggest playmakers. Huge first down. 20 yards on the pickup. That's about the range that Eli can throw. Like five yards. And only occasionally. We're going to roll out here. On the run, we're going to find Shane Smith. Huge pickup. Anytime we actually move the ball for positive yardage, that's what we call a huge pickup. That is absolutely massive. Had Saquon Barkley on kind of a swing. Uh, and uh, Okay. And we're kicking the ball. Somebody get it. Odell with the speed. He runs over the football. What the fuck are you doing? He runs right over it. Oh my God, Odell. And, and like, honestly, there's no time to throw at all. At all. They just, the blitz or something came in ungodly quickly. That's wide open. I need the football. Lennon Collins punches him in the face, but it's no good. It's going to be 16 to 9 after the field goal, unless we somehow block this, which we don't. And we're going to have 15 seconds with no timeouts to get in the end zone. It's not my favorite spot that we've been in. And we're going to return this, I guess. I didn't touch the controller because I thought he would take a knee like it's supposed to. No, he goes, he, Saquon's like, I'm going to take this out. I need to get a little bit closer to take a shot at the end zone. And for that, I'm going to need just a little bit of time. Oh my God, Sterling Shepard, get out of bounds. All right, that's a huge gain by Sterling Shepard. He beat press really easily, 28 yards on the pickup. First and 10 now. We're going to come out in a, uh, in a strong package. We're going to have everybody block. And we're just going to take a shot here, pretty much. I think this really gives us our best opportunity. Sterling Shepard, Evan Ingram, Saquon Block, Shane Smith Block. If they're blitzing, I'm going to be really annoyed. We're going to have one-on-one. Odell -on -one. Beckham Jr. in the end zone. Game on the line! We got a flag. Is that holding? I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be upset if it's holding. Give me defensive pass interference. It's going to be pass interference. And it's going to be on the defense to Sean Gibson. Flag for defensive pass interference to put the ball on the one-yard line with no time remaining. Oh, God. Do we run the football here? I feel like it's been so wishy-washy the entire game. It's, it's a weak box. We're going to run it. Saquon Barkley up the middle to win the game, and we've done it. Saquon Barkley with his first career rushing touchdown, and it could never come in a bigger spot. We're not going to win the game. We're going to tie it. We're going we're to tie it. I'm not going to go for two. We're going we're gonna to tie the game. And they're going to ice us? Oh, man. The wind is against us. Is that lined up? I have no, I have no clue. 
We're gonna go for it here. Aldrich Rosas! The kick is off the fucking- oh my god. What do you say? What do you say about any of that happening? <laughs> oh man. Off the upright. I don't know how you could tell if that's lined up or not. I really don't know how you'd have any idea. Oh man, that's my first experience with icing this year and I am not a fan. Wow. I don't know what this camera angle is, but it's about as bad as that finish was. Good Lord. We're gonna tweak some sliders for next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, there's not much to say here. There's not. Uh, <laughs> Oh, what a roller coaster of emotions. Oh man, subscribe if you're new. I don't I don't really know what this to tell you.